This is a Game Caviar production. Finally, not having it back in the Game Caviar studios. It's been a while since I uploaded a video. I apologize for that. I guess you could say Game Caviar was like in the off season. You know, our TV shows going to off season, but I'm back with the new game, the game. The hottest game out right now, Grand Theft Auto. I picked up the collector's edition from GameStop. So I got all the goodies. Uh, if anybody else had picked up the uh, collector's edition, you know, they have the normal map that comes with the game, but then you have like a, a different map that looks like a blueprint. According to online reports, if you take a UV light, ultraviolet light, and shine it on the map, you can find some goodies. I'm not going to spoil them for you. Of course, you can probably google it and find it online i'm pretty sure you can but right now this is the very beginning of the game basically i'm doing a little burnout in my car each character has their own special car and of course if you want to save a car just like in other grand theft auto games you park it in the garage and it'll be good to go uh this is amazing like the game itself the storyline from the beginning from from like the I guess you could call it the intro of the game that's fun and everything it was a really good intro but I'm talking about the the way the city is alive if you could look at the video you can look around you can see a lot of things that you really didn't see in previous Grand Theft Auto games and I know this is the first Grand Theft Auto game in a while but I like what Rockstar did and their attention to detail and how they they made it to where uh, you know that you're playing a video game obviously but they tried to make it as realistic as possible which uh, I can give them um, a lot of props for doing that if anybody has played Max Payne 3 uh, then you'll recognize that the shooting mechanism and the way that the controls are are uh, they're, they're just about the same, which I liked because it was easy to get into and easy to remember. And then, you know, you can just go ahead and flow with that. I like the way that you can flick the, uh, the analog stick to switch between targets and also how you can upgrade your character so that they can have uh, better abilities, either driving or shooting. And each character has their own special ability. Uh, this guy that I'm playing with right now, he has the ability to slow down time. And it looks really cool. It makes the game look really cool, especially at night. Uh, if any of you have ever seen the movie Akira, where they're riding on the bikes in the beginning, and the red tail lights have a long streak, and that is incorporated in this game. I don't know whether they did that on purpose, but if they did, that's 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 like an excellent reference to that movie which I consider to be the best Japanese anime movie ever created uh, that's just my personal opinion there's been so many so of course somebody's gonna have a different uh, opinion on it but uh, there's a lot to do there's a lot to do in this city and a little while on I was playing the game and it told me that occasionally there will be events that pop up throughout the city if you're near one, it'll show up on the map. Uh, I think that's cool. You obviously will have a lot to do in this game. Even before the game came out, they showed people playing tennis and going scuba diving. And uh, everything that gives a game longevity. You know, when you pay, like I said before, if you're paying $60 for a game or, you know, $140 for the collector's edition like what I did, you want to make your money worthwhile and the only way that developers can do that is to have a game that that stays alive after you beat the story mode so rockstar did a very good job in doing that and i'm going to be spending the majority of my time gaming playing grand theft auto i'm actually going to try and do my best to finish the storyline in other grand theft auto games as, as soon as i unlock the whole city i pretty much stop playing the storyline it sucks, but that's just the way I am. I mean, I like to just screw off in Grand Theft Auto, but this one, it, you know, you play as the three characters, you can switch between them, and the way that they work together is really cool. So that makes me want to play the single player, and uh, hopefully I can finish it pretty soon so I can get to uh, doing other things in the city. But anyway, this is Grand Theft Auto V on PS3, of course. I'm not having it, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. 
like this video and subscribe for more.